Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing Tales from Off Peak City, which already looks like the weirdest game I've played in a while. And that is a big statement, like that is a big claim compared with what the, some of the stuff I've been playing. But look at that, look at his head, it's like a, a chicken or something, you know the way they've got like gimbal heads? And his, his clothes look like they're made out of skin, <laughs> and not to mention his eyebrows are doing the Mexican wave. There's just a lot to digest, I haven't even started with her. <laughs> well you woke up just in time, no I wish I could wake up from this nightmare or whatever this game is. All right, let, let's get started, okay? I'm interested to see where this goes. The developer reached out to me on email, and as soon as I saw some screenshots, I was like, okay, this might be the game for me. Oh my god, his eyebrows are weirdly hypnotic. The music is just so in sync with it. What's your name, anyway? Uh, funnily enough, it's your name. Where am I? <laughs> am I in a void or something? Uh, well, there's a city up ahead. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think we're in for some weirdness. What? I need to steal a valuable musical instrument. I'm new here. I don't know if I'm the person for these odd jobs, especially, you know, illegal ones. All right, I'll do it. Just make the eyebrow dude stop staring at me, please. Oh, look, it's like the Statue of Liberty, except it's feckin' cursed. That's the first thing you see when you come to the city. But instead of saying, welcome everyone to our country, it's saying you made a grave mistake and now it's too late to go back. Here's a picture of the sax for reference. Do whatever it takes to get it. Okay, I'll go get the saxophone. Pop's medical bills aren't gonna pay themselves. I don't think uh, the miracle of modern science can save this man. <laughs> yeah, now that I've gotten even closer, he's a goner. There's no saving that. What is up with his body proportions? It looks kind of normal from back there, but uh, god damn, what is going on here? This is a really confusing perspective. <laughs> Just trying to mingle with the locals <laughs> getting out of here. Where's that pizza place that I need to get the saxophone at? A xylophone, uh, the camera, the eyeball of the space lion. I can't quite afford it, <laughs> which is a shame. It go perfect in my labyrinth that I'm working on. Oh wait, is this the pizza place? I kind of just wandered in here. Is this, is this where I'm meant to be? Oh, oh yeah, it is. Okay, this is the pizza place. I would like a, a job. <laughs> it's the perfect cover. That letter's bogus. Your name or whatever your name is. <laughs> your name is me. <laughs> I'm your name. Ah, uh, he likes my letter of recommendation. Okay, I need to get a jar of sauce. I've got a job in the real world for once. Oh no, I shouldn't even joke that this is the real world <laughs> because it's really scary. <gasps> the saxophone. Next to a painting that he's blurred his own face out. All right, I'll just get the sauce <laughs> for now. I'll continue with my job. At least I know where the saxophone is. <laughs> right, sauce. Yeah, fill it up. There we go. Lots of sauce. <laughs> Wait, I gotta make the pizza? The dough on the counter is calling your name, your name. <laughs> this is confusing. Oh my god, even the physics are just upsetting. <laughs> Why does the sauce sound like that? It's a bit worrying, to be honest. <laughs> this might be too much sauce. <laughs> I hope they like wet, goopy pizza. Got some basil. There we go. You can't really see it properly because of all the sauce. I got some mushroom. And I think we're done, are we? Or maybe just some more mushroom on this side. There we go. They ordered a half and half. Half pizza and half mushroom. Throw that bad boy in the oven. <laughs> Ingredients are falling everywhere. Oh my god, this guy's so feckin' scary. This whole game is scary. An impressive pie, I must say. <laughs> my letter over there looks like it's just a, a template I printed off offline and I forgot to replace your name with my actual name and now I've just embraced it. Okay, pizza is done, I think. <laughs> Imagine you opened the box and saw that. First delivery, yes, send me out into that big open world. Wait, where am I going? <laughs> For First, tell me where their address is. 47 Yam Street. The pizza box itself will tell you the way. Okay. <laughs> Normally, I'd say that makes no sense, but actually, this probably makes the most sense out of anything in this game so far. Okay, this one's door is open, so I'm just walking in. Oh my god, this is terrifying. <laughs> oh my god, your baby is beautiful. <laughs> He's got your eyes. <laughs> pizza for breakfast every day, Barkley. Your poor son. <laughs> I believe what we have here is mushroom with a side of of pizza. <laughs> Quite expressive, your name. Oh, wait, what is this? Is this just the mission complete screen or did he- Wait, where the hell did he go? Did I imagine all of that? Was that real? <laughs> I think I may have gone mad. Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell is this? Okay, well, I got his bedroom key. <laughs> but his bedroom appears to be the bathroom. Is the baby in there too? <laughs> okay, I'm in his bedroom. <laughs> what is happening? 
Wait, what? Oh god, I went on the fire escape by his bedroom and stood onto the swirly slide that brings me back down. Ah, uh, beginner's mistake. I'm total rookie. Anyone would have seen that coming. Oh no, what's happened at the pizza place? Oh no! I bet he tried to eat some of my pizza. But even looking at it, you should have known it was gonna kill you. I'll be right with you, Mr. Wh whatever your name is. I just saw someone swimming in it. Looks freaking weird, to be honest. So I had to kind of come down and check on it. They haven't put their heads above the water in like five minutes. <laughs> I think they're dying. And I don't blame them for trying to get out of this world. The time has come, your name. The store is yours now. I made one pizza. <laughs> and he's like, you're the son I never had. <laughs> and don't play into anyone's plans. You are your own person, your name. Make the pizzas your way. God, he's passionate about pizza. Well, goodbye. <laughs> is, uh, is he gonna die now? Or is he, is he coming back? C could I die? <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> right, I got his upstairs key, but I, I want the basement key. I need that saxophone. I'm still going along with the plan. I don't have any allegiance to this dude. He's weird. Oh my god, he really likes pizza. <laughs> his whole interior design is just pizza themed. <laughs> You got a moon button. Oh, thank God. I was hoping to find a moon button in here somewhere. <laughs> oh, wait, I can use the moon button here. I, I see. Okay, it's all making sense now. <laughs> like, as much sense as it can make. <laughs> What the hell is this? If you're struggling to keep up, I don't blame you, but trust me, I am too. It's nothing to do with the fact that I'm cutting out silent parts. It's just that this game is insane. <laughs> okay, I don't understand any of his upstairs. <laughs> is this a window or a painting? I don't know. I gotta find eyes to put on the lions. I'm leaving. This is really overwhelming. Do we have any pizza orders? I'd like to go back to the simple life. All right, this pizza, he just said right in the chest. That's what he's put in his order notes. <laughs> That's a good pizza, if you ask me. Yep, cook her up, boys. <laughs> mushroom pizza. No sauce, no cheese. Light on the mushroom. Coming up. <laughs> Whoa, look at that for a pizza. Yep, magical hands from the ceiling. You pick up that pizza and package it into the box. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, right in the chest. <laughs> right? 14th July Avenue. Okay, I'm on the way. <laughs> oh, guy's sleeping. I'm stealing his stuff. Oh, pizza killed him. I have a feeling our pizza place is going to be responsible for a lot of deaths if I keep cooking them. All right, um, pizza delivery, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Feckin' evil lair. Oh my god, what the hell? Good lord, that is terrifying. <laughs> I just walked by and saw them staring at me. Wait, I think it's in here I have to go. I, excuse me, did someone order a mushroom pizza, light on the mushroom, no cheese, no sauce? What happened to your arm? <laughs> Sorry, that's insensitive of me. I shouldn't ask that. I got a pizza for you. Where's my pizza? There we go. Here, take the pizza. You like it? Finally, some real food. Well, you haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> I always made my mother take the sauce off the pizza with a white napkin so I'd know it was all gone. Well, you're gonna love this pizza then because all the sauce is taken off for you. Well, your name, I think a tip is in order. Can you give me a tip on how to cook pizza? Because I'm in charge of this new pizza place and I don't know what I'm doing. $45? That is a good tip. Oh, pizza, I surrender to you. <laughs> oh, and it knocked him clean out. They've got a bit of a food coma after that. To be fair, a whole slice of mushroom would take a lot out of you. Um, I don't know if you should be in that vat. It doesn't look like a good idea. What the hell is this? I got an achievement, the truth under the lab, but I don't understand any of it. What the hell? Did you know there's a dangerous chemical laboratory in this lab? I mean, I don't know if it's dangerous. There's one guy literally bathing in whatever they're making up. I'm going further into their basement. God, I wish I had a basement like this. What the? Oh, right out into the canals. Oh, it's Pops. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, the saxophone thing. I'll get to work on that. Sorry. It's been a tough day. A lot going on. <laughs> I hope Pops is feeling better. Pending health inspection. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I still have one more to deliver, though. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, chocolate pizza, synthetic gray matter, mmm, olives, and lastly, but not leastly, sauce. Yummy pizza. <laughs> God, that looks disgusting. It looks like it just fell on the floor <laughs> and whatever stuck to it, I went, eh, it'll do. It'll be the house special. Kitchen floor surprise, we'll call it. Ah, lovely. The gray matter really cooks up the uh, wavy. <laughs> All right, man. Magic hands, bring that over and let's package it up. I gotta head on over to 26 July Avenue. Oh, it's a pawn shop. Somebody order a pizza with the gray matter. <laughs> Just like mom I used to make. Oh, I need that nose for my, uh, my house. Yes, I'll buy the nose. <laughs> Uh, sorry to interrupt you folks. I didn't mean to. What the hell are you playing? <laughs> Is that sand? <laughs> You're playing that in? I like how that person saying, oh yes, it's pizza. I'm not quite sure what it is, to be honest. 
<laughs> he's giving out about the sauce and then the others are like, they serve pies like this is the school where I teach. Yeah, it's in style. <laughs> clearly a lot of stylistic intent went into making this pie. Yeah, clearly. Ignore the moving parts. It's the kitchen floor special. You never know what's down there. What is that? Brains? Oh, they've noticed the gray matter, finally. Okay, what the hell has my pizza done to them? Maybe it was too much gray matter. Now they're in the game and the pawns have taken their place. What is this game? All right, now that I've got that nose for the lion, maybe we can try putting that on or something. Or the, the guy, yeah, th this guy, yeah, I've got, a, I've got you a nose, buddy. I hope you don't have allergies. Otherwise, I've just cursed you because I'm never going to clean this place. I got an eyeball of the space lion. What the hell was that? A door just fell off. Oh, I found $120. That's good. I mean, he's still not dead. Like, I don't think I should just be taking his money. But at the same time, he's got a load of feet in his dressers and arms. So I don't feel that bad about robbing this dude. God, his house is a nice view. All those cows. I love the wildlife. Okay, there's one eye. I... I want to see what's under it. You could crawl under that. I mean, not that you'd want to. I don't know why you'd want to be in this place at all, to be honest. It's freaky as hell. I wonder, could I buy it from that statue from earlier? Can you sell me just the eye? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I leave the statue. Like, I just want the eye specifically. And I gave him $250 for it. All right, the moment of truth. Put the eye on the lion. And now we'll see what's behind there. I don't know if I want to, but we're going to. Oh my god, that is a terrifying family photo. Can we just turn that around on the desk? I don't want to see that. God damn it, you can't. Well, there was $500 there that paid me back for the eyes. Ah, in a spooky basement. Fantastic. Just what I wanted. What the hell is this? What is this? Open that up and we're back on the ground floor. Why? What is the point to all of this? I'm so confused. How high were they when they made this game? I got another delivery. I should really get the health inspection, I think. This is bad for business and I can't fulfill these orders. I don't know how. But oh god, I, I don't think I even have time to do more. I'm so confused. Like, this whole game is a wild fever dream, and I know I've said that about a lot of games recently, like Tamadachi Life comes to mind, but... It, it, how can I process this? I think this is the only time I've played a game for, like, what, 40 minutes? and somehow understood less than I did when going into it. I, I have so many questions, and I think zero answers, but we're gonna leave it there. I, I hope your mind isn't too jumbled up from watching this video. I hope you can still go on about your day without thinking about this too much. But I do hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching. If you want to see more, let me know. I'd be down to play more and try and figure out where the hell this thing goes. Uh, if you don't watch my channel often, I post every day if you want to see more of me. And I also stream over on Twitch. The link for that is the, in the description. But uh, we're going to leave it there. And I'm just going to sit in darkness and think for a while, I think. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed, I appreciate you as always, and I hope to see you next time. Pizza time. Shout out to Patreons, Kaldi Friadis, Lancelot, Laura Klein, Laura the Hulk, Les Universe, Laser Flames, Lena Bergerson, Lord William, Lorena Molina, Lucian Herzog, Lucy Hedges, Lucy Malone, Lucas K, Luxor, Mad Feck and Matt, Malin Stanley, Mary Smith, Matthew Wilhoyt, Mephi Faust, Mice Chicken, Michael David Rose, Miss Suz, Mrs. Kevin O'Reilly, Miss Noam Chomsky, Matinho777, Natalie Walker, Natasha Chevrier, Nathan Furman, Nerd of Justice, Nerd and Lulu, Neva Granger, and Nick Roma.